We've got seven mo years of mo here in Motown. Cheesy? Yes. Necessary? Absolutely. On the first day of Red Wings training camp in Traverse City, Detroit, finishing its offseason by locking in defenseman Mo Sider to a seven year deal. The 2022 Calder Trophy winner was an unrestricted free agent, but the Wings will now get him for the better part of the next decade at $8.55 million a year. So the complete opposite of when B.I.G. said, Mo money, Mo problems. For the rest of the team, today's first day of camp was the start of what they hope is a run to the playoffs for the first time since 2016. After missing out on postseason hockey by virtue of a tiebreaker back in April, this Wings group believes they can be the ones to finally break the drought. Of course, everyone wants a natural progression, and that's what, the way we see it, and that's what we want. Uh, we expect some internal growth uh, from the team and some guys that experienced that run last year and some help from some free agents and some help from our young guys. So expectations have changed um, and it's going to be a reality and I think our group will handle it well. And a good chunk of the Wings training camp roster was here in Grand Rapids last season with the Griffins. And for those guys who will be back here this year, they're going to be in new threads for the first time since 2016. Today, the Griffins have unveiled some new uniforms. The team will be wearing white at home with those red shoulders with black uniforms on the road. A pretty good look as we get closer to the Griffin season opener on Friday, October 11th. And on the diamond for your Tigers playoff hunt update. This afternoon, the Cleveland Guardians walked off on the Twins for the second straight day, meaning that headed into the final nine games of the season, the Tigers and Twins are tied for the final American League wildcard spot. Minnesota does own the tiebreaker, but what a run this team has been on. Last night was Detroit's 80th win of the year, which hasn't happened since 2016. The Tigers were 11 games out of that final spot back on August 11th. Since then, Detroit has been the best team in baseball. A chance at playing in the postseason is now all too real, and no matter what happens in the next week and change, this group is certainly enjoying the ride. And staying on the diamond this afternoon in Cincinnati, the Saga Talk native and Western Michigan grad Blake Dunn hit his first major league home run off National League Cy Young favorite Chris Sale. And Dunn had an afternoon. Two hits, two stolen bases, and the Reds lost to the Braves. And with the Reds out of playoff contention, the West Michigan product is making a case for a spot on next year's team. And while the Whitecap season has come to an end, today West Michigan ace Jaden Ham was named the high single A Midwest League Pitcher of the Year. Ham was dominant from start to finish. In 23 starts, the righty struck out 122 batters with a 2.64 ERA. The 2023 fifth round pick was bumped up to the Tigers' seventh ranked prospect by the end of the season.